Good morning. My name is Krupa Jayasri, Department of Zoology, working in KBN College. Today I would like to explain first BSc Zoology semester 1. Paper title is Biology of non chordates First unit that is Protozoa General Characters. In this Protozoa General Characters, Protozoans are unicellular. They show radial symmetry or bilateral symmetry or asymmetrical. They live singly or colonial. Each animal is covered by cell membrane which contain protein and lipids. It shows locomotory organelles like flagella, pseudopodia, cilia, etc. Food vacuole will work as temporary stomach. Nutrition in protozoa is by holozoic, holophytic, saprophytic, coprozoic, some are parasitic. Respiration and excretion are exhibit diffusion. Asexual reproduction is by binary fission, multiple fission and budding. Sexual reproduction is by syngamy and conjugation. Here we have some examples. One is amoeba, euglena, paramecium. Now another topic that is reproduction and life cycle of elphidium. In this elphidium life cycle, we can observe dimorphism with alternating generation. Elphidium in two different forms as megalospheric form which is sexual and microspheric form that is asexual. Megalospheric form developed from microspheric form. Gametes which gives rise to microspheric form by syngamy. Megalospheric form developed by conjugation or syngamy. Next another topic that is locomotory devices in phylum protozoa. Here we have some of the pseudopodial structure here. Here we have four types of locomotory archons. One is pseudopodial movement, another one is flagellate movement, ciliary movement, peristalic movement. In these uh, uh, types, first I would like to explain pseudopodial movement. Some protozoans move with help of pseudopodia. Pseudopodia are blunt, finger-like temporary, protrusion of the cytoplasm. These may be various shaped. Large number of pseudopodia are present on the body surface of some individual. Flagellate movement, second one. Certain protozoa move with the help of flagella. Flagella are whip-like structures in the formation of which cytoplasm takes place. These are usually 2-4 in number. A flagellum has an inner stick structure known as axonin which is surrounded by protoplasmic sheet. Third one is ciliary movement. Some protozoans move with the help of cilia. Cilia are small hair-like structures present usually in large numbers on the body surface. In some cases, verticella, the cilia are restricted only in a concentric circlet at the distal end of the body. Cilia are usually arranged in definite rows. Fourth one that is peristalic movement. Some protozoans move with the help of myonemes. Myonemes are small thread-like contractile fibrils usually located in the inner layer of ectoplasm. In monocytosis, the contraction of the fibrils is responsible for the contraction of the pellicle and animals slowly move forward in a jerking fashion. Here we have some of the pictures related to the protozoan locomotion. Next, another topic that is five kingdom concept and classification. In the year 1960s, American biologist Robert Whittaker proposed a classification system based on five kingdoms. Here we have five kingdom classification. Monida, prokaryote, protista, chiefly protozoans and algae, fungi, molds, yeast, mushrooms, platea, plants and animals. It includes animals. Whittaker's system was widely accepted until the 1970s when further studies led to the division of Monera into two kingdoms, bacteria and archaea. Here we have some of the diagrams shown here. Next, Kingdom Monera. Monera, monos means single, 
includes prokaryotes and shows the following characters. They are typically unicellular organism, but one group is mycelial. The genetical material in these organism is the naked circular DNA. A nuclear envelope is absent. Both ribosomes and simple chromatophores are only subcellular organelles in the cytoplasm. Kingdom Protista. We place all single-celled eukaryotes under Protista. Members of Protista are primarily aquatic. This kingdom forms a link with the others dealing with plants, animals and fungi. Being eukaryotes, the Protista cell body contains a well-defined nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. Another one, Kingdom Fungi. Thallus organization. The plant body of true fungi is a thallus. It may be non-mycelial or mycelial. The non-mycelial forms are unicellular. However, they may form a pseudo-mycelium by budding. In mycelial forms, the plant body is made up of thread-like structures called hypae. Kingdom Animalia Level of organization Every organism of the Animalia kingdom is multicellular. However, they don't display the same example of cell organization. The example of cellular organization found in animals are cellular level of organization, tissue level of organization, organ level of organization and organ framework level of organization. Kingdom Plantae. All you will find is plants and plants and more plants. You can see microscopic plants like algae as well as the tallest trees like squiae. Plant Kingdom. It includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms, plant life cycles and other alternation of generation. Next, another topic that is binomial nomenclature. In this system, each name has two components, generic name and specific epithet. For example, binomial name for mango is mangifera indica, where mangifera denotes generic name, that is genus, and indica represents specific epithet, that is species name. The entire two parts name must be written in italics, the genus name is always written first. Genus name must be capitalized. Another topic that is general characters of oriparents. Sponges are aquatic animals. They are multicellular animals, living solitary or colonies. Bodies of sponges are without definite symmetry or show radial symmetry. Body possess many pores called ostia. Body consists of special system called canal system. Skeleton is formed either spicules, sponging fibers or both. Seventh topic that is paramecium binary fission. During binary fission, one paramecium cell divides into two genetically identical offsprings or daughter cells. According to Ferne, the, the micronucleus undergoes mitosis but the macronucleus divides another way called an amitotic or non-mitotic mechanism. The mature cell divides into two cells and each grows rapidly and develops into a new organism. Under favorable condition, paramecium multiplies rapidly up to three times a day. Here we have some of the pictures of paramecium binary fusion. Thank you.